Hey guys, today we're going to do the art snack challenge for July. I'm starting with some Yupo. Now this is the same type of Yupo as was included as a bonus item, but as you guys can see, this bonus item is very, it's cute. It's so cute. It's so wee. It's so precious. It's adorable. It's a little bit small for what I want to do. So I went ahead and I grabbed a piece of um, 9 by 12 Yupo, cut it down to size. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Yupo, what you really want to do is you want to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol to remove any excess uh, fingerprints or grease that might be on the paper. So that's pretty simply done. Uh, trying to think of a way to hold it without applying more finger grease. And the reason you want to wipe off any sort of shoot hand grease is because um, it will cause a resist, especially if you're dealing with like alcohol markers. And I was using brush -o earlier and it just brushed all the brush -o onto it. <laughs> oh. Oh well, that's okay. I thought I cleaned them out really good and it seems like I found the one, the one brush o crystal I missed. So I went ahead and I drew a thumbnail of the illustration I have in mind. And I wanna do a sunflower because I got the, um, the gamboge, the permanent gamboge core in my uh, July box. And I was going to do the details using the Technica. Now, what I would like to start out with is a very light, rough sketch. Let's see if I can find a, this general cedar point might be perfect. It came in a pass art box and I didn't actually use it in that challenge. Why not use it now? So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my sunflower reference trying to keep my hand off of the paper as much as possible and trying to keep my sketch light in gestural now would be, I keep mentioning this, this kind of product. Now would be a perfect time for me to use a calligrapher's bridge, but I don't have one still. And I know paper and ink art sells them. I just need to commit to buying one, especially on these videos. I mean, I talk about wanting one all the time. I need to just bite the bullet and do it and do it. And I'm going to tighten up my details, hopefully using my Technica. So I'm not all that concerned about details yet. I just want to get everything sketched in and I'm going to do my inking after the fact because my overview video and you guys can check that out here. Uh, my overview video showed that on Yupo, Technica is never water permanent. So I am going to save that for the last step. All right, so we have a cheerful little sunflower drawn on Yupo, all ready to go. Place that up there, and I'll go ahead and start getting prepared. I've got two cups of water, one for clean, one for dirty. I've got some of my favorite paper towels and these are actually recycled because I use these when I stretch some Kara pages and I let them dry so you know they're still good to go. I've also got some handy masking tape and I'll go grab my art snacks and be right back. All right guys I got that July art snacks right here. My permanent gamboge, my Princeton Kalinske synthetic, Oh, my Technica ran off. I gotta go dig that up. Oh, hey, there it is. Pintel Arts Hybrid Technica. It's a gel pin in case you guys do not know that. Um, let's see. What I could really benefit from is a small plastic palette or something. You know what else I could do? I could honestly just work on my non, bleh, almost said nonsense, non-stick craft map. And this is going to be, I, I foresee this, other than dry times, being a very quick challenge today because I'm working 
in monochrome. And I'm only going to use the Pentel Arts, not the Pentel Arts, the Princeton brush. So those of you who cringe watching me use the wrong brush for a wash, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You're gonna you're gonna die. This is gonna be murder for you. I apologize. Just gonna do everything everything all wrong today. So one of the nice things about some of these lovely yellows is that when you add a lot of water, they lighten up a lot. But when you when they're mixed uh, darkly or like mixed thickly, or um, when you layer it, they darken up. Actually, I should probably do an all over wash. I know, I know I'm killing some of you. Some of you are watching this video and you're just dying. You're like, oh, why? Because this month I'm trying to be good about using my challenge materials. I know some months, like last month, in fact, that's why I'm trying to be so good about using just the challenge materials is last month I really um, added a lot of additional materials to the challenge. It was more inspired by than a true challenge video. And this month I'm trying to, trying to stay true to what was sent in the box, sent in the box, sent in the box, sent in the box. I can't help but want a tube of blue so I can throw in a blue sky there. All right, so this is going to take 1 billion years to dry because with Yupo, um, your water just sits on top until it evaporates into the atmosphere and it's raining outside. So it might not ever happen. And, and so that is pretty much done. No, I'm kidding. I, I have other plans. It's not done. I just like to mess with you guys sometimes. So, you know what? Since we're waiting, let's do a little magic show here. I have plain household rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to drip it in. Isn't that cool? That's if I can get it to drip. I could spritz it, but I wouldn't be able to control it. And it would go everywhere. And I really just want it to add some interest to the stem. Come on, you. Now, after that, I'm not going to be able to paint over that. So that is pretty much that. But it really has an impressive effect um, on Yupo because it the rubbing alcohol really disperses the water. Um, the watercolors stay wet a little bit longer, so you're going to get a more reactive effect. And rubbing alcohol evaporates much, much quicker than water does. So really, um, that kind of a technique really works well on a synthetic paper like Yupo. All right, I got to step away from this sunflower and let it dry. So I'll see you guys, you know, three years from now. Just kidding. I'll see you guys in probably 20 minutes. Not that that makes a difference because I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to unpause it and I'll be right. You guys won't notice a thing, I promise. All right, guys, it only took like an hour and moving this into another room that had better ventilation. But it's my sunflower has finally dried. It's finally time to move on and start working on other parts. Uh, I have hidden and by hidden, I mean my reference got kind of kind of soaked underneath a pile of other links. But I'm ready to try and add additional layers. Now, something I'm concerned about is um, the synthetic brush is a little bit less soft and giving than a real Kalinsky sable brush. So on something like Yupo, I'm afraid it's going to have a scrubbing effect rather than a sort of a painting layering effect. So I'm painting a little bit thicker in some areas than I normally would. 
just trying to build up that permanent gamboge. I'm not really trying to do um, too, too much detail because I'm going to go in with the Pintel Technica after everything's finished and uh, refine my details. Tails. 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 And you can see the Yupo shows pretty much every brush streak, 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 streak. Streak, 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 streak. Also trying not to overwork things so much that I lose sort of the natural drying pattern my watercolor, my first layer of watercolor had. which means painting a lot thicker with watercolor than I normally would. This is like gouache levels of thickness because I do want to retain some of those natural, uh, some of the, the inherent characteristics. And I, I do want to encourage, um, instead of wiping it down, which is what I would do if I was working too thin, it would basically just wash off what I had done previously. I want it to be able to layer which is why I'm working a lot thicker than I normally would. I know for some of you guys, that is painful for you to watch. And, um, uh, you know, I recommend you pick up some Yupo and you, you try replicating the challenge at home using the materials that I've been, that I'm working with. I won't say giving because I paid for the box. Well, technically I was given it. It was a Christmas present from my mom who purchased it for the purposes of review. She enjoys watching these videos, even if that means sometimes I tear the box apart. All right, so I think I am at a point where I need to let this dry. Oh, that came out really thick, really thick and goopy. And because it's so thick, I'm not really getting a whole lot of play with the water. It's mostly just pushing paint around, very gouache-like. This is not really the recommended usage for core watercolors. Um, they are capable of some very lovely translucent effects. But I think this is very interesting and it's fun to be able to play around with my materials and try different things. So I'm gonna let this dry and um, I'm not sure if I want to continue painting it or if I want to let it dry overnight and then go over it with the Technica. So I will check back in with you guys once this part is dried. So um, you guys remember I laid some of this on pretty thickly. I think I'm going to allow it to completely dry overnight before I try to go over it with the Technica pencil. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I am ready to resume working on my Art Snacks Challenge. I allowed the paint to dry overnight, but some of it's been applied so thickly that it, it's kind of sticky. So I'm going to work, I mean, I should be working with this anyway because any sweat from your hand, any grease from your hand can affect how this goes. Um, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be completing the line art or attempting to complete the line art using this Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica that came in my box. And I'm really just drawing on top of my paint because prior tests showed that um, the Technica La, la. Technica is not actually waterproof. Ugh, see, I already got some sticking going on. And I'll zoom in really close so you guys can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. And the Technica seems to mark just fine on top of the core watercolor. And I'm just doing sort of a doodly. 
uh, pin mark. Nothing too fancy, really just like a little series of M's or U's. 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 It's a little bit harder to write where the paint is more thickly layered. Hi guys, I'm not super sure when my camera cut off yesterday, um, but I am adding details to my Art Snacks Sunflower using this Pentel Arts Technica pen. Now you guys saw in the overview that this pen is not waterproof. Um, not directly when you apply it, not 24 hours after you apply it, not on watercolor paper, not on Yupo. So I had to save my uh, line arting until the very end. And I already went ahead and I filled in the interior of my sunflower using this little M-like shape. I'm gonna go back in and add another layer of that. And I guess I'll do that in time lapse because that is time consuming and who wants to see that in regular motion? Am I right? Nobody. 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 I'm also going to start adding little M's, those little squigglies that I did on the inside, uh, sort of more sporadically on the outer ring. This is in reference photos, this is the lighter ring than the interior. And again, I'll do that in time lapse so I don't kill you guys of boredom. 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 Now, if there's some areas you want to fill in with um, just a little bit of black to sort of darken them up a little bit, now would be a good time to do so. Um, my Sunflower has dried for 48 hours, not just 24. So it makes it a little bit easier to work on top of these like heavily layered layers of paint. And I'm mostly just darkening areas in to demonstrate to you guys that you can do that at this stage. Um, I guess the paint has fully evaporated into the atmosphere. It is also not raining today. Unlike the first day I was doing this one, it was raining and I knew it was going to take a million billion years. So my Technica's cap just came off. Let me screw that back on. Didn't expect that to happen. There are some areas though where I'm more scraping the paint than I am able to, you know, color it in black. So that is also something to be aware of. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to start detailing and outlining the petals themselves. Um, and I'm not really, shoot, it does not want to go. I'm not trying to be too exact. I did a lot of the work uh, when I was painting. So I really just want to sort of add details to that. Unfortunately, the Technica is kind of a poor choice because it's a, a roller ball and it's a very fine roller ball. So it kind of acts like a needle. So instead of, um, you know, laying down a layer of um, very fine ink or gel ink, it's actually scraping away at the paint. So that is something those of you doing your own art snacks challenges at home definitely want to be aware of. I'm also going to attempt to build up 
some line weight variety and add some weight to my lines without scraping up prior layers of the gel ink and without ruining my paint. So that is another task I'll do in time lapse. So I've got the line art on the flower part mostly done. I've been having a lot of trouble. Um, the gel ink takes a while to dry, so smearing is a strong possibility, even using a protective sheet like this. Um, also, you end up scraping away ink as well as paint if you try to apply to the same area multiple times. So if you're do following along at home, this is something you should be aware of. I'm going to start in next on the leaves and the stem. And to begin with the leaves, I'm mostly just going to create a heavy outline where possible. So it is time to move forward with my watercolor, I mean, <laughs> my sunflower illustration. And one of the things I want to do is I want to start with the stem and I want to do sort of hide and seek, stop and go lines, sort of, um, well, let me just zoom in and show you guys. So I'm not drawing straight lines. I'm drawing very fine dots and dashes, little bits of squiggle to indicate that this is an organic object that I'm rendering. I'm varying where I put my, my gaps. I don't want them all to line up. I want it to look like light is hitting some areas more so than others. Also reinforcing the shadow at the top.
Now for the stem, I mean, yeah, for the stem on the leaf. I'm starting off by drawing in the major vein, sort of reinforcing it as best as I can. It's pretty difficult considering this ink sort of pushes itself aside. Now I'm going to draw other veins coming out from that. And of course, my hand keeps getting stuck in this prior layer of ink. I'm not sure, in fact, if this ink will ever dry on the Yupo. This is definitely something to be wary of. And then finally, I want to add some hatching lines. To sort of fill in the leaves and make them appear at least a different tone from the flowers. And I'll go ahead and time lapse that. What I'm pretty much just doing is drawing curved lines and on other parts of the leaf where the light's gonna hit it, I'm going to do stop and go lines like I demonstrated on the stem. Right, guys this is my completed art snacks july challenge i used i dare say everything that came in the box i used the yupo well i replaced it with my own yupo but it's the same weight and type of yupo um i used the core watercolors oh i didn't use the blush brush cleaner yet but i probably will to clean the princeton kalinsky synthetic sable brush that came in my art snacks. I will say it doesn't perform like real Kalinsky Sable. So um, companies that are advertising that they're selling good synthetics like that, they need to keep working on it because there's just no belly in this synthetic. Um, and I also used my Pentel 
Arts Hybrid Technica. Now, I had a lot of problems working with the Hybrid Technica on the Yupo synthetic watercolor paper. It takes forever to dry. I keep smudging. I kept smudging even though I used a guard sheet. I had difficulty writing over the ink, the watercolor I'd put down. I had difficulty layering the ink because it would pick it back up again. I'm not really fond of their choice, in fact to include the hybrid Technica this month, and I kind of have to wonder why they did. I know the card says it's waterproof, but it's just not waterproof. So um, I look forward to, to maybe getting to the bottom of that, and I'm happy to share this sunflower with you guys. I hope it brightens your day. Even with my complaints, I did have fun working on this. It's always a pleasure to see you guys, and it's lovely to have you guys hang out with me in my studio and make something together. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, um, and I'll see you next month with our... Oh, no, wait, I still have to do my Sketchbox Challenge, so I'll actually see you really soon. Um, anyway, if you enjoy hanging out with me too, you can hang out with me all the time by subscribing to my channel, clicking the link below. If you enjoyed hanging out today, you can hit like and that'll let YouTube know that other people might enjoy coming and chatting with me as well about all sorts of art supply goodies. Um, if you enjoy these art supply unboxings, demonstrations, overviews, and challenges, please check out my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, where I'm going to write it all up, include all the information I've got access to, and link everything. It's a super handy source. And uh, if you enjoy hanging out with me and you think your friends would too, please do me a huge favor and hit those social uh, network sharing links down below this video to share this video or my channel with your friends. I would super appreciate you doing that. I'd love to get you know to blah. I'd love to get to know you guys. Um, there's a final way you can help me out. Uh, if you are interested in helping me out financially to create more videos like this, to spend more time doing these sort of things, please check out patreon.com slash natosoup for more information on how to do that. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you again later. Bye.